Hi everybody, it's Janae from Lectin Free Solutions. I've got a tasty recipe for you today. It is Heart Smart Walnut Tiger Bites. I think you're really gonna love this recipe. It's another recipe that is great for heart health and for brain health. You know, I mentioned to you before that Dr. Gundry likes my family to have at least one serving of walnuts every day because it has really imp improved our vascular flexibility. This is something that he tests on us regularly so he can tell whether we've been eating them or not, and we have been. So anyway, let me get started with this recipe. It's very simple, it's very low carb. Um, we're gonna start with the dry ingredients and we're gonna put them into the food processor and make our, we're gonna add all the dry ingredients together so it makes our own walnut flour. So we're gonna start with one cup of whole walnuts, a half a cup of, a half a cup of tiger nut flour and a half a, t a, half a cup of um, golden flaxseed that's already ground. And then we have two, whoops, we didn't get, my, get all that. Uh, then we have two teaspoons of baking powder and one half teaspoon of salt. And that's it for the dry ingredients. So give me a minute while I grind these up in the food processor and transfer them to a bowl and we'll get started. All right, now we're gonna remove these from the food processor and into a bowl, we're gonna put all the dry ingredients. This is made on a jelly roll pan. I believe the dimensions are uh, maybe 16 by 19. Don't quote me exactly, but it's, it's a standard jelly roll pan. A lot of us use those as um, cookie sheets. So to the, um, to the dry ingredients, we're gonna add about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil or any other compliant oil that you like. I, it's a, the, olive oil is good, it's good for your brain and your heart as well, so I, I like to use that. And then we're also going to use one egg. Now, if you can't use eggs, you can use an egg substitute, or you can actually, you can actually make this recipe without an egg. It's just not going to be quite as light, but it, it does work. So I'm going to, uh, to that mixture, we're gonna add one cup of water, and I'm gonna do this in thirds. Along with the egg, we're gonna do a third of a cup of the water. Start blending that together. Now, what you wanna do is, is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You wanna make sure that your oven is nice and hot. So don't mix this batter together until you're, re you're absolutely ready to pour it onto the tray and get it into the oven. Just, hold to the end for that. Okay, so I've got a, a third in here, it's stiff. So now I'll add another third of the, of the cup of water. You're gonna end up with a fairly thin batter at the end. I'll get it all, get that all incorporated and then that last third, it's gonna make it, loosen it right up. I'll give you a peek at this as I get ready to pour it out on, onto the cookie sheet. Now what you can do, I. I've lined, the, I've lined the cookie sheet with parchment paper. I think that's probably the easiest thing to do. If you have a sill pad that, um, okay. So this is the consistency. It's almost like a cake batter. So we're going to pour that all onto the cookie sheet. So there's no rolling. It's just, you know, it's just really easy. To, it's a very easy recipe. I should have brought a spatula over here with me, but I didn't, so we'll just make do with that. Then I've got an offset spatula, which I think makes the job a lot easier. And you just uh, evenly push this batter all over the cookie sheet. Just keep pushing it down. You want it to be the same thickness, so you, you want to move fairly fast with this, but getting the, getting the thickness right is pretty important, she, otherwise it doesn't cook evenly. So you wanna get, you don't want the edges to be too thin or they'll, they'll wanna burn. Almost got it here. Got a little lift on my parchment paper, here we go. So what you're gonna do is, once you get this all spread out evenly, you're going to pop it into the oven for 20 minutes and then you're gonna pull it out and we're gonna score it. And um, come on, we're gonna score it. See, it's, it's pretty forgiving. 
we'll score it so that it will divide into individual crackers when we're ready to when we're ready to uh, cut them. Okay, now that's all we need. Then we're gonna hit it a little bit, flatten it down, and in the oven it goes for 20 minutes. Straight edge spatula, whatever you like to do. So I'm just gonna section these off. I usually go in half and half, and then down the middle, and then half and half. I, you know, I, I, I'm not really one to be absolutely precise. Some people like to measure these things. I don't. So if you want to do that and mark, tick it all off so it's perfect, have at it. Okay, so we cook this at 350 for 20 minutes. Then you're going to, when I finish scoring this, we're going to actually, after we, after I do this, we're, after I score it, we're also going to prick it with a fork, just like you do a pie crust. So you'll make two um, little fork pokes in there to release any more moisture. I think those look pretty good. So we'll just go quickly, do two of these in each piece. And then what we'll do is we'll put this back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Then we're going to reduce the heat. And remember, we're working with walnut flour and it burns easily. So we're going to reduce the heat down to 300 and we'll cook for another 20 minutes. Now, if, that, if they aren't dry enough, then just keep going for you might need an additional 10 minutes. You know, all these products vary a little bit. So you might end up with a, a little bit more moisture. Each, each batch is slightly different. So if you have to go a little longer, don't, don't, don't fret about it. And then also go, go a little bit around the edges just to release it. This one looks like it shrunk away pretty nicely from the parchment paper, so that's fine. Okay, so back in the oven for 10 at 350. Turn down the heat to 300 for at least 20 minutes. Then check them, they should be, to your touch, they should be nice and dry and then they're gonna pop right off the sheet. All right, back in the oven. All right, we have completed our batch. These things are, they just pop right off. You can um, use a spatula to sort of help loosen them if you want to. I'll show you, they're super crispy. Mm. You're gonna like these, they're really delicious. Anyway, um, I hope you'll give them a try. They're easy to make. They're good for your brain, good for your heart, and good for your waistline. Not too many carbs. Not carbs at all, really. Okay, well, let me know how you like them. Um, leave me a message in the comments, and I hope to talk to you soon. Thanks so much.